Hello, and welcome to ADC Aspects. I'm Jeffrey Lawton, Product Manager at Microchip Technology. In the previous video, we discussed INL and DNL, two additional sources of static error, or error that affects the DC performance of a data converter, are the ASA error and gain error. In the ideal ADC transfer function, the first transition occurs at a voltage equal to 1 half LSB. Offset error is the difference between the first ideal transition voltage and the measured transition voltage of an ADC. For example, in an 8-bit ADC, the ideal first transition point is half LSB or 1 16th of the full-scale voltage range. However, it could be that the first measured transition doesn't occur until 1 LSB later at 3 16th of the full-scale voltage range. Thus, we have a positive offset. To remove the offset error, one must subtract the offset error from each conversion in software. In this case, one LSB, or a single digital code increment, will need to be subtracted from each conversion. It should be noted that offset reduces the dynamic range of the ADC by its value. Related is the full-scale error, which is the difference between the ideal last transition voltage to the actual transition voltage. In this figure, the ADC has reached its highest code value before its maximum input voltage. Gain error is the full-scale error without offset error and is caused by a non-ideal slope of the transfer function. It is calibrated by multiplying the transfer function by the ratio of the ideal slope, M1, over the non-ideal slope, M2. We've discussed the definition and calibration of offset error and gain error in this video. Along with INL and DNL error, these errors encompass the DC performance specifications of an ADC. Thank you for joining me in this episode of ADC Aspects. To view Microchip ADC products, visit us at microchip.com slash ADC.